Hi Capricorn, uh, this is going to be your monthly reading for August 2020. So who are we stalking through tarot today? We're gonna check on you, and then we're gonna stalk your person. So. Going on with Capricorn. Kind of reminds me, yesterday I actually was able to feed one of the goats by hand. And I fed him a tortilla shell. Okay, so I can see where you might have cut out communication from somebody that you really feel connected to, somebody that you do feel passion for, um, but it looks like you're kind of taking a rest, but you're still feeling like you have to pick up the sword to fight at any moment. You have a decision to make, and I feel like uh, you're going to make a blind decision because you do have the two swords in the reverse. Some of you probably don't feel very victorious right now, but there's a sense of defeat and that you do want to work on something. Now, cool. you may have a sense that somebody is talking about you because the uh, Page of Swords is in the reverse. Now let's see the person that you are stalking through Terry. But you guys are at work with something. Okay, person Capricorn is dealing with for August. As for your person, they do have the devil energy. Somebody here was toxic. They are at a crossroads of what they want to do. Um, whether to keep putting forth into this connection or they're pretty much losing um, hope in it. You do have the Queen of Wands and they do have um, the King of Wands. So you do have a deep connection, but 
On the other hand, they're not offering anything. And if you offer something, I'm feeling like they're not exactly ready to take it. Seeing that they do have the devil card for you, like toward you. This person may be overthinking in their head that they would like, you know, to work on this, but they're also working on themselves. Financially. But they're also feeling like you're not going to give them another chance. But they still have the spark for you. They do have the Hierophant in the reverse. There was a Fallen in the relationship. Now let's take a look at more of your energy. I do see you wanting to kind of work on it. You guys both have the major court cards of the deck here. So they're stuck at a crossroads between whether they really want to put forth into this connection or they don't. But something tells me that they're still holding on in a sense. Well, you. Roles can be reversed. Take what resonates. Eight of Cups. It seems like they're kind of moving on, but they still do feel a strong connection. Communication could be stagnant. It could probably be slow. This person's feeling so much into their head, like, when is this going to, you know, when is this going to stop, start, I don't know. But they do see you as their wish fulfillment. They do feel a strong spiritual connection, which you two actually do have because they have the King of Wands and you have the Queen of Wands. And you have the Two of Cups. They're sitting back thinking. They may not be talking to you at this point. Maybe a little, but not much. They do see you as their wish fulfillment. I do see it here. They are taking a rest from whatever happened. Um, but they are being guided by their intuition to hold faith. Let's see some more of your energy. You may be open to communicating with this person. You are letting your uh, walls down. So if some of you had them blocked, you are unblocking them. Um. <clears throat> I see where you do want balance in the situation. You still feel the connection there. But you guys were in a strong, committed relationship. And it looks like it did have a fallout because both of you do have the Hierophant in the reverse. Oops. But also, the both of you have the Four of Swords energy. You both have the Four of Swords. You guys are taking a rest. I do see you slowly 
coming back toward them. Because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. But you're moving really slow. Some of you aren't listening to your intuition about something. You don't want to juggle this anymore. Um, and here again, you both have, wait, where is it? Where is it? Hallucination. But anyways, um, you are feeling as if you just can't get this out of your head. For some of you, you're kind of, you're, you're wanting to put balance into this. You're wanting to try to work on this. You do kind of want to give effort to this situation. But there's still inner conflict on whether oh, you should or not. You two do hold a very strong spiritual connection. A mutual energy for the both. crystal spears still holding on still in the picture this is only 12 minutes long okay energies mutual the Sun card you two share a lot of happiness together or there was a lot of happiness and the both of you are pretty much just reflecting on kind of what you had you're both stuck at a crossroads but I see that there will be some effort put in. Up to you. Seven of Crystal Wands, both on the defense. Again, this goes to both of you having the Four of Swords. So, Some of you, it is different, take what resonates, but you both feel as if it's still worth um, defending, still worth fighting for. But you two are taking a break. But this rest is going to bring balance between both of you, so...
Okay. So. You were both really thinking about this. You both are um, mirroring each other. Both have kind of an iffy, but... Six of Crystal Cups. You both are thinking about the past. Um, what happened, the ups, the downs. And you both want to settle this. Um, this is the mutual energy, the Nine of Cups. Your person does have the Nine of Cups. Um, what I'm getting from you is just you just want things to be more balanced, but you don't know yet. So, um... But I can see if your person is communicating, which I really don't see much of it. If it is, it's very scattered. Whoever you're dealing with can't get you out of their head. Alright. I didn't want this to be this short of a reading. I didn't want this to be this short of a reading. If that is what you guys are dealing with, um... <clears throat> well, happy August. <laughs>